What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Tatiana Duenas and I am super excited to be back. I know I say this every time, but you know what? New year, it's 2020. Okay, your girl's gonna get her shit together and I'm going to try to film at least two videos every week and post one a week so that way I can have some for like the following week if I don't have time to film. That's just what I'm like leaning towards right now, but you know what? It's a new year. I'm trying to make that my New Year's resolution, so bear with me. It's gotten a little difficult for me to actually get in front of the camera again because it's been so long. I think my last upload was like in August, um, so there's that. I know if the camera is a little shaky, it's because it's on the edge of my bed and I don't have a tripod connected to it, um, so when I talk, I kind of move the bed and then it moves the camera, obviously. Another side note, uh, Pappy's looking a hot mess right now and this is like me 80% of my time. I mean, this is me post-gym and post-shower. Pretty much for today's video i decided to finally film the long-awaited fitness journey video i know a lot of people have asked me to film this and to talk about it and you know to talk about what's helped me what's worked for me what hasn't uh, so on and so forth again i'm not a professional and i'm not a nutritionist and i'm not like a personal trainer so you know this is just stuff that has helped me this is stuff that has helped me you know progress the most so i wanted to share it with you all just in case um a lot of you have that new year's resolution to change yourself for the better it's totally fine we all go through those changes mine actually happened last year um beginning of 2019 so i'll be going more into detail on that like in this video but before we get started don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you are new and turn on the little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever i post future videos it's a new year tatiana's gonna be on her shit okay i'm i promise i pinky promise you guys at this point without further ado let's get straight into the video so I guess before I kind of start answering some questions that I got through Instagram, um, through my Ask Me Questions uh, posts, I should start off by like talking about where my journey started and things like that. The end of my senior year, so this was like May to June of 2017, I started going to the gym with some friends and we just, you know, jumped right into it. I was playing soccer at the time, so I was like, okay, I got this shit, like I can do this, you know, this is me, like I can do this, right? So literally every day is the same routine over and over and over again and it wasn't a set gym routine nor was it a set workout routine, like a workout split. So it literally was just like random days of the week that we would go, random times, we would go anywhere between like one to three hours, I'm not even kidding. And it would be the same routine for me every single time. I would never work on my core, I'd never work on my upper body because I just wasn't comfortable working on that yet. So I was always working on my legs because, you know, I played soccer so that was just something that I really liked to do. Then came the fall, winter of 2017 and I started going by myself to the gym but it was still the same thing. Um, my mindset back then was I can eat what I want because I'm going to the gym and working it off. I was completely wrong. I mean, you know, I was barely getting into the gym so it was just kind of like everything was new to me. And kind of fast forward to 2018, the beginning of 2018. Um, I started taking it a little more serious, but not as much. So I was shedding the fat, but I was not shedding fat like fast enough or as fast as I would have hoped. So it was getting kind of frustrating um, because I feel like I was really working my ass off in the gym and nothing was helping. Um, so then finally, I think it was the middle to end of 2018. I'm trying to think. It was about... So yeah, the end of 2018, um, on Instagram, I started following some fitness influencers. So I started following Brittany Lupton, or Lupton, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, I started following Whitney Simmons. She's like my absolute favorite. So I just went ahead and started following like a bunch of different fitness influencers that I thought was like, okay, these workouts look like they would work for me. Um, the number one fitness influencer that I probably look up to the most as far as like the workouts and what I like about it is Whitney Simmons. Um, that's her... Instagram that is her Twitter and I think that is her YouTube as well So if you guys want to check her out, I'll leave her at right here so normally she would post videos and she would post hit training She would post upper body abs so on and so forth. And I was like, oh my god, like this looks so cool. So the beginning of 2019 I got a two-week free pass to a local gym that my friend was actually going to and I was like, okay Maybe the gym is what I need to change up. You know what I mean? I'm like, maybe I need something new. So I started going to that gym and holy moly, I felt like a new woman. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I literally felt like powerful. Like, I literally felt like, oh my God, this is so cool. There was an aerobics room. There was a cycling room. There was a swimming pool, a sauna. And it was just like, 
I thought it was so cool like it's just something that I hadn't really put myself in before so literally those two weeks straight I did not want to miss a day of working out because it was a free trial and I was like I might as well just go every day right I remember the exact date the exact date that I started that trial was January 19th 2019 so almost a year now and that day I only remember it because I took progress pictures that day because I was just so determined to change everything about myself I never hated my body I never felt the need to like oh my god I hate my body oh my god I can't stand my body but I just wasn't happy I wasn't comfortable in anything I was not you know confident and it was just literally driving me crazy and a lot of people would say otherwise because of like stuff that I would post pictures I would post but honestly like I just wasn't a hundred percent feeling like myself and I wanted to change that so when that trial came to an end um, I actually changed my eating habits um, I didn't put myself on a strict diet I didn't put myself on a meal plan I I was a type that like okay I can't do a meal plan like just barely jumping into eating healthy I have to literally work my way in that was my mindset so I went and I just started making healthy switch outs healthy alternatives um, and it honestly was a game changer I literally dropped so much fat and toned up in all of the right places especially with the right workouts now as far as the workouts go that trial literally prompted me to tell myself okay you know what like I have to put a set workout split I started doing my research on a workout split and like what exactly should be a workout split and I tried to kind of find the workouts that helped me on leg days core you know upper body uh, cardio hit all those things so I made a workout split and I put a bunch of workouts in my notes and I still have them to this day in my notes so it's just like these workouts are what best benefit me and help me and are going towards what I wanted to do because I never really wanted to lose weight. I just wanted to tone up and kind of clean everything up. Doing that honestly helped me so much and I honestly give a huge shout out to Whitney Simmons and all of the fitness influencers that I follow because that's what prompted me to do that as well. I was just like, oh my God, it's crazy how she has this workout split and I'm like, I don't have anything. So I literally wanted to make my own workout split. I was like, let me just see if this works. And when I returned back to my home gym, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do all this. And I was like going off. It wasn't hard for me to eat healthy because I actually enjoyed my meals. So um, in terms of like chicken instead of red meat and ground turkey instead of ground beef um, and certain meals and things like that. If you hear a little bell, it's my chihuahua. My workout split, um, once I figured that out and once I was like, okay, this works for me, this doesn't work for me, then it's like I really put everything to the test and literally by March, April, I looked like a completely different person. I'll try to put before and after pictures here, so I'll put like the January picture here. I'll put something, you know, more towards like May or April and then I'll just kind of put the date so you guys can see what's what and just kind of go with the so, flow. I guess on to the questions. Um, I had posted for people to ask me questions on my fitness journey because recently I've posted transitions and like progress photos and videos on my um, Instagram page and a lot of people swipe up and ask oh my god all these questions. It's just crazy how much people want to know and I'm like oh my god like I would love to help because that was me at one point you know what I mean. There's always room for growth and there's always room to learn something new so I was like you know what I'm going to have people ask me questions. So the first question was, what exercises do you do to get a flat stomach? And I had posted this transition um, or progress comparison, whatever you wanna call it, on my story um, to answer this question. Basically saying that realistically, it's not super flat, it's more of just toned, but I still have that little kangaroo pouch um, on my lower abdomen and that's completely fine to me. Um, I'm trying my best to kind of like work with I work out that help with that she's like staring into the mirror who are you looking at that's me that's me so that's completely fine to me um, I realistically I don't have a super super flat stomach and that's fine I will get there you know it's a new year and then I also briefly explained that what you eat is like a major key to what you look like and how you feel if you eat you know fairly bad your workouts are not going to be the best. Your your body's going to get tired easily and it's just not going to go as you would hope. Versus eating better and eating healthier, food is fuel, pretty much. So whatever you feed your body, that's going to be the performance it gives you. With that being said, I've always been told, my dad always told me that 90 to 95% of, you know, fat loss um, and your fitness journey is pretty much what you eat in the kitchen and the rest, 5 to 10% is what you do in the gym and I never believed that until I actually started changing my eating habits and I was like holy shit like it made the biggest difference ever I'm not saying completely cut out certain things 
um, because I obviously from time to time I'll eat a piece of bread I'll eat brownies I will eat a, a cookie you know like it's not gonna kill you to eat that stuff one little bad bite is not going to affect your body and that helped me realize that you don't need to give up your certain favorite foods in order to lose the weight you want now it's different when there's people like on keto and they really can't eat certain things. I've heard a lot of stories of people who love keto. I've heard a lot of stories of people who didn't like keto and didn't want to do it after a certain amount of time. It's completely fine because each body has its own preference. So that personally wouldn't have worked for my body, but it might work for her body or his body. You know what I mean? So honestly, you just have to keep that in mind that everybody is different. Like everybody. Next question was, what was one thing you changed? Your breast stinks. What was one thing you changed that you noticed made a huge difference? And again, I cannot stress this enough, my diet, what I was intaking, um, the amount of protein that I intake, so on and so forth. It's literally to the point where I can't really eat tacos de carne asada like, as well as I used to because my stomach is not 100% settled with red meat anymore. Um, it's more of just ground turkey and fish and chicken. I know there's going to be people out there who are like, okay, I can't change my eating habits that quickly. Then don't. Just kind of another thing that falls behind like the eating habits is portion control and honestly I still eat sweets from time to time. I will still get a frappuccino from time to time. I will still take like and take sugars from time to time. That's just how I see it. So um, one thing that I did learn that really really helped me um, from Wendy Simmons was if you want a bite of that cookie you take a bite of that cookie. It's not going to kill you to take one bite of a cookie. It's not going to throw your body off balance. If anything it's going to make it worse if you don't give in to your craving a little bit just because your body is going to crave it even more so once you finally do get your hands on that certain sweet tooth item then you're going to go ham and you're just going to eat way too many or way too much so take a bite of that brownie take one brownie uh take a bite of the cookie take one cookie however you want to see it it's not going to throw you off balance if anything it helps with the balance if that makes any sense do you create your own workout plans or do you get them from an app or something um, as I mentioned before, I don't get my workouts from an app and I do create my own workout split. I do get my workouts from the fitness influencers on Instagram, so I'll kind of just bookmark certain workouts that I want to try or that I want to give a try um, or that I want to kind of just incorporate into my workout. So I'll go ahead and just bookmark it and then I'll go back into it um, afterwards and it honestly is a lifesaver. Any at-home booty workouts you recommend or like? I rarely work out at home, um, so I really couldn't answer this question. I tried to answer it to the best of my ability, but pretty much glute activation is key, especially if you're at home and you have no weights, but you have a booty band. Um, I will link the booty band that I own down below. I got it from Amazon. Um, it's not a rubber one. It's more of the elastic um, sturdy material, I don't the woven material. I don't even know what, what it's called, but I will link it down below. It's super thick and it honestly works wonders. It gets your glutes going and it gets that pump in like you literally feel that pump after like the first two sets of glute activation so i will also link down below um some glute activation workouts that i personally like doing at the gym but like i said i don't normally work out at home but those will definitely work out at home if you don't have time for the gym because i know life gets busy and sometimes people can't make it to the gym and that's a okay that was literally um asked about three times so it's the same thing um i will link all that down below what are some things that you eat like for breakfast lunch and dinner so to answer this question on my instagram story i actually went ahead and referred them to my highlights so on my instagram highlights i have a little um highlights for specifically eats so it's just food pretty much that i've made or that i bought that i really really like everything is shared on there it's anything from protein pancakes to um healthy alternatives for like syrup healthy alternatives for fries, healthy alternatives for whatever the case may be. But there also is um, every now and then like spaghetti or pasta and you know for pasta I'll have brown rice pasta or chickpea pasta um, just to kind of give that healthy alternative and it's still 100% bomb I promise you. The recipes are all in there that I've used so if you do follow me on Instagram go ahead and check that highlights out and if you do not I will link it down below. Next question, how often do you work out and for how long? So I kid you guys not, when I first started going to the gym and working out like however I thought I did, I was literally going every day of the week. Every freaking day of the week. Now I literally only go um, anywhere between four to six times a week and I'll, I'll go at most for an hour and a half. I, I kid you guys not, at one point I was going for three hours. I'm like, who has time to go to the gym for three hours? Oh my God, like who was I? I'll literally go for the most part an hour and a half. 
Sometimes it'll boost up to two hours, but that's only because I like to get a good stretch in before and after my workout. It honestly just depends on um, how I'm feeling. So I'll either cool down or I'll stretch um, after a workout and that honestly um, determines how long I've really been at the gym. Four to six days a week and at least one to two rest days. Um, and rest days, I cannot stress this enough, are so important for you, for your body, for your recovery. And I never really knew the importance of it. I always thought like, oh my God, if I skip a day at the gym, I'm going to lose my training. I'm going to lose my focus. I'm going to lose my motivation. But that was just honestly all in my head. At this point, I take one to two days a week to rest. And it is the best thing ever. I sleep, I clean, I do what I got to do. And then I'll go back into the gym the next day. And it's just like I never left. If you don't already take rest days, I highly suggest you do. Because it is so important, honestly. Workout routine, please. Okay, so before I start filming a workout routine for YouTube, I'm actually going to start filming it just to post on Instagram to see what people like and don't like, what you guys want to see, what you guys don't want to see, what you guys find helpful and what you guys don't find helpful. Uh, but I do want to start posting them on my Instagram. I don't know if on my feed or on my stories and then just kind of like adding my favorite workouts to my highlights. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm still kind of working out the kinks on that because I also don't have a gym um, partner. So I want to make sure that I... You know get all that situated first but you guys will be the first ones to know what kept you motivated to stay consistent definitely the progress I am big on progress pictures even if you feel like you don't look your best in a certain picture take the picture you will thank yourself later once you start working your ass off and start seeing the results that you want to see even if you look at the mirror you're like oh I don't want to take a picture take the picture or have someone else take the picture because those are gonna help you realize how much change is in you like how much change you are capable of even if it's just a facial picture I know for me the first sign of weight loss and weight gain is gonna be like all right here and I noticed because when I first started losing the weight back in like March of 2019 my aunts actually asked me they were like oh my god like are you losing weight and I'm like uh no how can you like why did you assume and they're like well you can see more definition in your face so it just honestly depends on what you want to take the picture of whether it be your face or your body I highly recommend that you take those pictures do you track your calories and macros I do not like I mentioned in the beginning of this video it never really was about the weight loss for me it was more just about toning up and honestly like side note off topic but still kind of on topic um, just to give you guys an idea I am literally only two pounds lighter in this picture than in this picture. I'm literally only two pounds lighter. Um, it's not really about the number on the scale for me. The only reason why I even know my weight is because when I go to the doctor, obviously you get weighed and stuff, so I get the updates through there, but I've never been big on the scale and on the numbers on the scale, and it's just not me. But I don't track my macros or my calories because I feel like I'm okay right now as far as eating. I have a good, like, balance a good healthy to non-healthy ratio I'm not saying for every healthy meal I have I'm gonna have a cheat meal that's not how it works but I eat fairly healthy and I feel pretty good so I don't think I need to track my macros but like I said some people do some people like doing that it makes them feel better and more motivated and that's completely fine that's just you know not for me any meal plan suggestions I'm not really big on meal plans I've never done a meal plan I actually want to um, to kind of just have them set you know for the days I feel like I can but I just don't have the time I guess it just depends on what you're working towards toning or weight loss or so on and so forth um, but I will say that for your meals um, what has helped me tremendously was cutting out bread and replacing bread with like rice cakes things like that um, and also cutting out dairy so the only dairy that I intake currently is through my protein powder and my protein bars and occasional yogurt um, and then also salt so you want to be really really mindful on sodium and what how much sodium is in each thing that you consume because when I prep my meals I prep them with no salt seasoning so at Costco I'll actually post a picture right here at Costco we bought this um, organic salt free no salt seasoning something like that um, but it's super good it adds a lot of flavor to your food I also get the Mrs. Dash salt free seasonings they have like um, vegetable table seasoning they have like um, lemon pepper seasoning they have um, chipotle seasoning um, and it really really helps so that's honestly the top three things that have helped me so much thus far I feel like once you start making those little changes it'll be so much easier to start making the big changes just be mindful like I mentioned before everybody's everybody's body is different 
so what works for me might not work for you vice versa like I mentioned earlier in the video I can't hold down red meat like I used to and it's honestly 100% okay because everybody everybody's body a tongue twister everybody's body is going to adjust to its own diet and meal changes you know you're gonna find things that I've suggested that probably don't work for you and then make you kind of feel sick vice versa that can go for me if someone was to recommend certain things to me that I don't like so it just depends um, just kind of be patient with your body and you will start seeing the results you want to see just put your mind to it it's a new year just honestly put all the negativity and the BS aside you have got this you got this honestly and I am just here to kind of be on the journey with everybody I feel like I'm not a hundred percent at where I want to be yet either so it's kind of like we're working together look at my hair oh my god love that just think of it as like we're working together on our goals and working towards our goals so new year new you creepy white van in the middle of my street Anyways, I really hope this video was helpful to you guys and I really hope that you guys don't hesitate to ask me any questions that you guys have. My DMs are always open on Instagram and Twitter and so on and so forth. If you don't follow me on social media, I'm going to link all that below so you guys can follow me if you don't already. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that um, bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. I'm going to start working my way back into YouTube. I feel like it's kind of like a stress relief aside from the gym um, to just talk to you guys and sit here and, you know, be open to what you guys have to say. It's a new year, so we're all gonna get these gains together and that's the most important thing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Also, a disclaimer, please just remember that I'm not a professional, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just solemnly a girl who wants to get these gains and wants to help everybody. I'm not 100% certified, um, but this is just stuff that helped me stuff that I feel like will help other people as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.